Definitely want your light year or seen it's your time. Chosen one, the game is on. Your people are watching. And play the game and duel with all your honor and might. Demo Lego, we need you. Well, it's about that time. Let's get the show started. Hello, everyone. It is I, Devin Lionheart. I'm here for all you lovely individuals. Without further ado, this is a reaction to the recent death battle. Time for the killing. Um, at least that's what we're all hoping. As this death battle is Courage the Cowardly Dog versus Scooby-Doo. Now, what can I say about these, uh, you know, a pup named Scooby-Doo? Versus that of Courage the Cowardly Dog. First off, I want to say. Life is precious. It should never be snuffed out. Even a dog's. Now, uh, next I need to say as well. Very important. That before we go into this. I want to have y'all get a feel of. Who I'm thinking is going to win. Who is going to lose. And my percentage is on everything. I think it's very important to do that. Uh, next, I need to mention, after we do that, we'll get on to the official reaction. Last thing. Um, last time I did a prediction on the next death battle, on the current death battle, that was uh, Starscream versus uh, Lord Frieza. Got a couple of death threats. What the hell is wrong with you people? Get a life. Touch some grass. Overall, hug your wife if you got one or your girlfriend. Because god dang, you people take things way too far. Honestly, stop stop this. So without further ado, let's get into my feels for the battle. My percentage is obviously <sighs> 23%. Scooby-Doo. 27% Courage the Cowardly Dog. But I'm making a huge guess here, as I fully believe that this is a gag battle. Somewhere, somehow, there's going to be some shenanigans. And we're going to get, we're possibly looking at a draw. The battle cancel out because of some, uh, some bad guy chases them away. And they have to team up to take care of it. Or even that of uh, possibility of <laughs> they're like, eh, hey, screw this noise. We're just we're just gonna do what we want, you know. Let's have a few Scooby snacks. I'll get you something to eat. Courage. Obviously, Scooby will be like that. So without further ado, let's get into the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, one last thing. Make sure you support Earth's support death battle themselves formerly known as screw attack as uh yeah these guys this is this is their thing and i want to draw a 18 plus audience so i don't know what to tell y'all by the way this is my recent new vtuber model uh for raisins unknown i'm about to uh, well as soon as i can figure it out hold on Hey boy. Okay, so uh gonna try something here. So I want y'all to get a good look at my VTuber. So as you can see the ball am gardens right here on my shoulder. Nice. It's on the opposite end and on my back. Well uh check it out. Oh god. Ah, I hate the spinning. But, uh, yeah, obviously. Lion Mark. <laughs> Gotta love that. Gotta love that. Okay, uh. Now if I can just, uh, turn myself back around. Nice and easy. Without further ado, uh, <laughs> Oh, God, that was a trip. So, um. Uh, Y'all, uh. Y'all saw all everything new on my VTuber, so uh, let's get started with the uh, overall video. And boop. Yes, I just booped all of you. Deal with it. All right. 
No animal companion has stood by humanity's side as long or as long. <laughs> Even, and maybe especially, these two yellow-bellied, lily-livered scaredy cats. Or dogs. He's wearing my boomstick. Oh, boy. These two. Armor and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Okay, here we go. The ages, countless philosophers have posited the same question time and time again. scooby dooby doo where are you? Pretty much everywhere. From Honestly, I would have to, you know, philosophers never really ask that. They ask, what is the meaning of life? What is love? How can I get laid tonight? <laughs> and how many glasses of wine does it take? Obviously, these questions may never be answered. <laughs> Okay. Oh god, I remember this movie. It's not half bad. I mean, everybody didn't like Scrappy, but they they didn't like him more now. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. You know what? At least he got a home. At least he's got a you know, he's at least got a good home. Fred Jones, and sometimes with their powers combined, they are ah. incorporated. A cadre of snot nosed teenagers traveling the Nixon era United States in a cushed up Volkswagen. Boiling nice. paranormal crimes and unmatched. Creeper! <laughs> I remember that guy. And I also remind remember the Minor 49er. <laughs> ah, that's a good times. Which means he's a master tracker. Scooby's super sniffer nose can have a pup named Scooby Doo. Let's go. They were called Kamarunda or Chamber Dog. Chamber Dogs. Bring me my Chamber Dog. I need cuddles. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, go figure. I mean, it wouldn't be a detective show if the dog was a coward. Or a mystery. Hex Girls! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> really now? Hmm. <laughs> what? What? No, this ain't real. How, how? I bet this is one of the new seasons I haven't seen yet. This is one of the new seasons I haven't seen yet. I, that bugs me. I just haven't had cable in a long time. Or satellite. God dang, you do not do that to a man's mom. I miss Mama Lionheart. Oh no, Zombie Island. So they are counting the movies. Okay, this is good. This is good to realize they're counting the movies. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> really? What is he? He becomes a super dog? He becomes a robo? He's, he becomes Iron Mutt? And a, a freaking leopard? How? Okay, so I knew he had some durability. Yeah, you know what? You know what makes sense now? Obviously, they didn't count the um, Scooby Doo and the Ghost of Sam, uh, the um, Ghost of the Samurai, a uh, sort of destiny, anyone or fate, either one. I mean, Scooby had both of them. Mother, 
More than likely Destiny, because, like, it was possessed by a dragon. Oh, no! Yes! Oh, wow! Scooby-Doo and the 13 Ghosts! Oh, I remember this growing up! Oh, my God, I feel so old! Oh, wait a minute! Oh, I know this! Oh, it's gonna bug me! Um... Oh, God! Oh, what was that one? Oh, this is gonna kill... This is... This is gonna kill it. No, this is killing me is what it is! How do you do that? None of that makes sense. This hurts my brain! By the uh, heavenly king of GF's bomb, it just blow me up! That hurts my brain! How the heck? How? Oh! Oh, I remember this show. Okay, this one. This is one of the last ones I saw. And it's actually really good. Harlem Gold Jobbers, Scooby Doo in the Movie Hour. Oh my god, yes. What? Wait a minute, are you... No! No, 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 hold on, hold on. Scooby-Doo and Alien? I saw Mystery Incorporated, okay? The only thing was an alien was the female dog. It wasn't Scooby. Whiz. Boomstick. Whiz. Boomstick. How dumb are y'all? Have y'all already been affected by the American education system? I thought you guys were adults, not kids. Continuing on with courage. The cowardly dog. Abandoned as a pup, he was found by Muriel, who lives in the middle of nowhere with her husband, Eustace Bass. But creepy stuff happened. Oh boy. Oh, he's dealt with a lot of stuff. Ooh, buff dog! Oh, he's a beagle. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but pink beagle? Ooh! I better stop it before I get used to that. Oh no, I'm naughty again. <laughs> oh, the weremoles. Scientists. That was a musical one. Yeah, yeah, go figure. They couldn't leave them out. Nobody can leave out the U.S. government. It's always got to appear in something, talking about killing the mood. I mean, they tried to kill me, but it didn't work out. See, to the rescue, anyone? Saved me from that. Huh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I, I wish I had that. I wish I had that mind controlling helmet, and so I can put it on Project Melody so she can do a lap dance for me. Oh, a bone. Throw me a bone already. Ooh, spiky mallet. Mm. Okay. What a loser, of course you do. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad our computers don't do that. 
different animation mediums entirely. Courage usually uses this as a form of charade to communicate with others, but don't get it twisted. These aren't just visual animations. Okay. His body so, yeah, at first I thought, like, 23% Scooby, 27% um, Courage. Right now, it's looking about 25-25, and I'm still, like, 50% and sure there's going to be shenanigans. Just shenanigans galore. I don't know what to tell y'all. Other than, it's going to happen. This is our joke battle. This is the joke battle of all time. <laughs> oh my god, that's been done to me so many times. I mean, since, you know, since I've gained these powers from Seed, I, one of them's a healing factor, a revival function that, and if the revival function ever happens, um, 25 in... 25% increase of all physical abilities. And the white also uh, kind of gives me an immu a resistance over time and even immunity even further. How many times I get taken out by the same the same attack or, you know, way. I mean, to be fair, I have been killed about... What was last... Not last time I kept counted... Oh, yeah. 12,372 times. That's a lot of times to be killed, you know. What? Wow. That'd be like... I mean... Woo! That's pretty powerful. I mean, we do have a universal resetting bomb. We're preparing for, uh, you know, uh, Centrea's timeline that she escaped from. <laughs> Remember this one, too. Oh, yeah, Eustace. Oh, jeez. Okay, <laughs> boomstick. Uh, we're dropping the F bomb, are we? Ah, noise. Oh, come on. I've seen worse. And I'm from Texas. Of course, there's worse in Texas. <laughs> Just matters the generation, really. I mean, take it into, uh, like, the, from the uh, 1940s to the 1970s, they could be pretty bad. Uh, 1980s to the 1990s, mid. Uh, 2000s and beyond, they're just dumb. People, people past 2000, and I think it was 7 and up, they're just dumb. They're idiots. I, I blame the school education system. I really do. Kind of glad that I was uh, homeschooled. So that's something. Nice. Hmm. Oh, shoot. I can't show this. This is a sponsor. I'm not sponsored by Shady Rays. Uh, shout out to Day Shady Rays for a death battle. Okay, here we go. Man, that was a, that was a, that was a nice tune, but I I can't I can't show that. Oh, oh, we're going back to the beginning. First haunted house ever in Scooby Doo history. Let's go. Oh my god, the animation! 3D background with, like, cartoon characters and oh, I bet that's Hustis! I bet that's Hustis! Oh my god! <laughs> By the Knights of the Round! He's really going in there! Somebody summon the ultimate weapon! We got a monster to kill! Robin, 
Oh, this music. Oh, it hits hard. Oh, I gotta get it. I gotta get this music now that it hits hard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, well, uh, somebody lost a head. Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, yes! The skits! Let's go! Whoa! That's accurate! Well, Godzilla, he's friendly. Sometimes. Oh! Officer! I've done nothing wrong, officer! I swear to God! I swear to Bahamut, I haven't done anything illegal! I haven't sent that weapon into an enemy team! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yay. Uh, I I think Wiz and Boomstick just got just got obliterated. Uh oh. Oh no. Superpowers go wild. Let's go. Ace is wild. Bone. Throw me a bone already or a chest. Oh no, he lost the meteorite. Oh no. I think that's Boomstick's voice actor's name. Oh no. Attack on Scooby! Yeah! <laughs> oh well, they're, they're out. Oh no. 13 ghosts are. I called it. I called it. It's Houston's. I called it. Well, his brain just got turned into salami. Cut salami. Yeah, take a break, boys. <laughs> Shenanigans go wild. I called it 50% chance of shenanigans. I called it. I remember that. Oh, that was so apocalyptic. That was so cool. You think the Zabrinsky triangle would be enough to seal the deal, but both pooches could regenerate from basically any kind of physical. Oh my god. Were incredibly smart in different ways. Scooby was more nice with his dupes, while Courage was a scheming genius. Yeah. Could have given Courage the edge if not for their canon crossover. Wait a minute, there was a crossover? There was a crossover? There was a mother freaking crossover. I'm disappointed. Basically anything except for the chest of demons and the dark matter meteor. Sure, the chest could theoretically always trap courage, but he'd always be able to escape and destroy it with the dark matter. Yeah. I mean, a reality warping meteorite and a uh, imprisoning chest. I mean, that wouldn't be necessarily checkmate. Never ends, but this is a death battle. Somebody has to die. Someone did, Wiz. Yeah, someone did. Yeah, it was useless. Kind of scary sometimes. I don't like dog killers. Same. Incredibly tough opponents that could go blow for blow for blow. They were smart, powerful, and incredibly broken. Dog got it, Wiz. I guess you could say Eustace had one hell of a rough day. I should do not. Oh, those were powerful. Stop. This battle is a draw. Ugh. Hi, I'm Ben, the voice of Wiz. Thank you so much for watching. We are about to announce the next episode, but before we do that, if you're not a Death Battle member yet, click that join button below. See what you're Let's see who's coming up next.
Rick versus Doctor Who. Okay, one, I am not in the, uh, in the bandwagon with him versus Doctor Who. As far as Doctor Who goes, all they gotten, like, you know, compatibility is, oh, we go through times and worlds. Where's the fun in that? I mean, if you ask me, obviously, Tichi Muyo's Washu Hakabe versus Rick from Rick and Morty would be far more interesting of a death battle. Because they're both criminal scientists. They're also scientists. They lost their families. They lost their home worlds. They lost... They lost a lot. Obviously. And they both, you know, get a new purpose. The only differences are they get uh, a new life. Washu gets to be with Tenchi uh, as uh, his... Uh, Scientists, you know, want to be girlfriend. And overall... Oh, another thing. They literally reunite with their daughters. So uh, Rick gets his daughter. Washu gets hers. Technically, Washu gets both and puts them together as one. Um, and the other only difference they have is East versus West. I mean, Japan animation versus American. Ugh. Rick from Rick and Morty and Doctor Who, I really do not care for this this de death battle. I do not care for. I mean, I don't think I'm going to react to it or do a prediction either to this. Because this is one that, obviously, Rick is going to stomp the Doctor. Okay? Rick's going to get an easy win. If it was Washu Hockaby, it would be a much more, like, challenging decision to see who would win. Because Washu Hakabe from Tichi Muyo is just as smart, if not smarter, than Rick. The only reason Rick always wins is because the laws of his universe. When you remove him from the laws of the universe, of his universe, he loses! Okay? Uh, maybe I'll go into the future video of me explaining how um, I feel how it would go down and everything. Everyone, I have been Commander Devin Lionheart. Obviously, I am your Super Soldier VTuber, and this has been my reaction to Scooby-Doo and Courage the Cowardly Dog. I called it Shenanigans Galore. I will not be reacting to the next death battle because I do not like it. I do not support it. Obviously, please like, subscribe, share this video with everyone you know. Obviously. Let's try to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Maybe 200. Who knows? Maybe I'll have something special. Maybe like a special uh, compilation of my uh, uh, Twitter trollings on video. For all of you on YouTube. I think that'd be pretty cool. If we get literally 200 subscribers by the end of the year, you get to see all the trollings I did on YouTube to what specific VTubers. Because YouTube literally destroyed my birthday stream when I showed my uh, Twitter slash X profile to everyone. Ah! I am out of here later. Hey. Why are y'all still here? The, the, the show's over. The video's, the video's done. Oh, wait a minute. You want more? Well, why don't you click up to the upper right here and like see one of my live streams or maybe the lower left check one of the videos over there or maybe just subscribe you know i appreciate it the show's over go grab a snack